Uh, Gary, how are you, mate? Hello, lads. How are you? Um, hello, hello. Oh, God, that that was heartbreaking to listen to there, you know. That, that poor chap and his son. Exactly, yeah. It really was. You, you, but I don't know, there, there just seems to be a, a thing of British um, English supporters abroad and getting, you know, mistreated by other European countries' police. You know, they... they you know, we we don't get that in this country. You know, it just seems to be, you know, all in a good order and organised. And you know, I was at Wembley a couple of weeks ago, and you know, it was fantastic. You know, but we, oh, it's just that poor bloke. Honestly, I, I really felt for him. But on the game, I mean, I'm just slightly confused with how you can use the word in on this match as bottled it because mm-hmm. I mean. Bottled it would say, you know, you sort of didn't go for it, or you know, well, actually, you know, we did everything, but apart from a fantastic performance by their keeper, you know, so it's just, it's just one of those games where you know the keeper has a blinder and you've done what you can, you know, twenty four shots is it that we had on, on their goal? Mm. Well, you, you can't use the word bottle. How do you assess and, the season and, now, though, Gary? How do you assess it? Yeah. Overall, I still class it as a good season. Yeah, you know, we 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 entered four competitions. We got to three finals. Now finals, mm-hmm. you know, can go any way. And all right, we we got the rubber the green with the the penalties against Chelsea. You know, but sometimes it it goes against you. But overall, how can any Liverpool supporter? Say you know, be disappointed. I mean, yeah, you just like because it'd be nice to get the Champions League. I, I never ever thought we'd quite get the league anyway. But um, but now, honestly, I, I'm proud as punch of my team. And any Liverpool supporter comes on here critical of. You know, I've supported Liverpool since I was 12 years old. Uh, probably um, 1974. I'm 60 years old. Liverpool against Newcastle. That was my first game. My mother, and I had this out with her recently. I was at, I don't know, Jermaine, you know, one of Liverpool's biggest ever games was Liverpool against St Etienne. Yeah. Uh, quarter final. Yeah. I was at that game in the cop, and I was 14 years old, and my mother let me go by myself. Paid fifty pence to stand on the cop, and you know what? I've, I'm fairly sure through my life of ups and downs of Liverpool, obviously an awful lot of ups. I've never slated one player. I might have just the, the only manager I think we've had where I just thought hmm, was sorry, Roy, if you're listening, Roy Hodgson. <laughs> you know, I just never, I just never well, ever he... thought he was a, a Liverpool fit. But otherwise. You know, I've I've just been proud of my team all through my life. And this season, you know, the joy I've had from watching us. And, yeah, we, we've won two trophies out of four. You know, got to the final of one and missed out by a point. How can you be disappointed? Just think of the big picture. You know, we've okay. won, you know, well done. Totally agree ball. with you. I agree with you. Are, you. are you happy with the season? Obviously disappointed. But overall... I'm happy. It's been a great season. They've they've pushed Man City to the depth, you know, a point in it where, you know, if, if that last 20 minutes Villa were how we done a little bit, we would have been crowned champions. Um, today's game we've battered, well, we battered Madrid, but their keeper Courtois was unbelievable, man of the match, and I don't think anything we did would have gone in with him in there in the at that end today's game. Here's one for you then, right? Go because. <clears throat> This is a real golden period for Liverpool. There's no doubt about it. They're playing some wonderful stuff. They're winning trophies um, over over Klopp's reign. You've had that. He brought the duck of the league title. You've got one European title. And obviously this season picked up uh, the domestic trophies. There's, there's talk of big stars, talisman, people like Mane leaving in the summer. There's talk about, is Salah going to sign a contract? Is he just going to do one more season? Yep. Is there a worry? Is there a worry that this golden period... Is going to fizzle a little bit. Is it going to? It's going to fizzle out, and this team isn't going to be able to be kept together. And let's be straight: players like that are very difficult to replace. Yeah, my name is Are very difficult to replace, but um, there is players out there 
that could come in within this and, and, and Klopp get the best out of them. Mm. There is players out there that Klopp could get. Is he the key, he's the key ingredient, isn't he? Oh, 100%. 100%. Klopp's the, the key ingredient. So what we saw with when Mane and Salah was in the African Cup of Nations, yes, we did miss them, but we got we we, we got the job done. Mm-hmm. We we can play without them. We can, you know, they're not the, the be all and end all. Obviously, great, fantastic players to have on your team and it helps. Mm-hmm. But like I said, we've proven that we can do a job without them so if they was to leave obviously they've got you know a year left on the contract so they wouldn't be leaving this year it'll be next year well there's talk that Manning might go this summer Bayern Munich are really sniffing around him they want to do a deal this summer well like what well, Klopp knows more information I'm sure he's had words with, with Manning and the representatives the agents you know I spoke to Liverpool and I'm sure Klopp will have you know replacements in mind mm. um, top Top players, so, so you're not concerned. I'm not concerned, no, because the 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 core fundamental of Liverpool is is strong. Mm-hmm. You know, the the main thing is strong. So if we need one or two players, if Manny goes, we'll get someone in. Lewis the has you know fantastic addition, someone like that who uh, uh, it in gem. So mm. I'm not really too fussed. Obviously, I don't want to see players like that go, but you know they can be replaced.